Hi, my name is Chris Clark. I'm Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis, and we're the proud presenters of the 20th Annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase. I'm here with guest director uh, Kayla Blue, whose um, delightful animated piece, uh, The King and the Pawn, um, really touched me, uh, made me cry a little bit at the end there, um, and was a late addition into the program for full disclosure. Um, a friend of uh, Cable's father um, was Kevin Johnson from the Post-Dispatch. He sent me a note saying, hey, take a look at this film, um, which was actually submitted to the St. Louis International Film Festival, Miss Deadline. But we had just enough time to sneak it in to the showcase and, and well-deserved, you know. Um, um, so Caleb, you recently graduated from Savannah College of Art and Design, a uh, prestigious uh, art school in the South, and this was your senior project. So tell me, where did this beautiful, beautiful story come from? Is this about you and your dad? Or, I mean, well, well, it's, it's just a great moving story, uh, very Pixar, Disney-esque, and, you know, hit all the right notes. I mean, I loved every second of it. Tell me about it. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, the first question people usually ask is, is it, is it about me and my dad? No, not really. Um, first off, he's alive. Thankful for that. Um, oh, yeah, there's that. Well, you know, that, we're assuming that people know uh, the, uh, the ending at this point. Uh, but yes, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, but our relationship's great. Uh, the thing is, I think uh, I was inspired by um, long distance relationships. You know, uh, I used to say I went to SCAD, which is. Um, about 12 hours away from where I am now. And most of my relationships with people here have been through text, through little chunks of the day. And um, I was really inspired by long distance relationships. And I decided, what if it's not a distance in uh, space, it's actually in time. Uh, I have other projects that are similar to that. I just think I've latched onto that concept. Um, one day while making pizzas, uh, I was just like, huh, what if it was like a chess game, but people play a move different times of the day to never while the other one is there and it just cooked on to me for that was three years ago um it hooked on to me for about two years and then i finally pitched it to my uh to the animation department of my school and they loved it um so that's great there's a song from my youth and maybe your dad's probably a little bit younger than me but um cats in the cradle it. that's um, right you yep. know it's it's a very different story but not really um, it's this, you know, tale as old as time, you know, the, the, the breadwinner has to go out, you know, hunting and foraging, you know, long time ago, or, you know, traveling to other villages to wage war, and, or then, you know, now corporate wars, and just being super busy, even in the same space. Even my partner and I, we sit on the couch, you know, I'm working, and she's working on work stuff, and now there's a dog playing in the middle, but we're separated, but right next to each other the whole time, so, you know, a busy family, and and uh, you know internet and busy schedules you know it's so easy to fall into that trap but they found a way they found a charming beautiful way to talk to each other a little bit and there was encouragement and you know pathos at the end and you know lots of stuff so um, how long did it take to put all this together uh, up to a year um, I think the moment I finished was like the exact day one year away from when uh, we actually started. Um, I pitched it in May. I found out my team around June of 2019. And then tw June 2020, this day, like I think midnight, um, I finished the film. And so yeah, it's about a year of constant uh, work, uh, pre-production, production, post-production. Post um, and there were 20 of us working on it. So that's almost a, an actual film. Uh, a smaller film production, um, so it's pretty crazy. It was one of the bigger teams um, as well with our uh, with with, uh, with SCAD, and we <laughs> barely finished. So these projects are hard. I never knew that. Sure. Um, <clears throat> you know, a month, couple months ago, when we had to reinvent ourselves as a presenting organization, I was pretty miserable, and I wasn't sure if you know what we were going to do. Um, but now that we figured it out, this has been probably my favorite part of all is chatting face-to-face -face with filmmakers like this. I had never met you before, so this is a treat. Um, often in the event, you know, if we're having a live event, I'll be talking to somebody for 10 seconds, then somebody will tap me on the shoulder, or there'll be a question or problem, and I, you know, I run away and I can never concentrate on talking to anybody more than like, you know, 10 or 30 seconds in a row if you're lucky, but this is great. So I get to meet new people um, and connect and we can share this with our audiences and it's really been fun. Um, you're in O'Fallon, I'm in Maplewood, but we're just, you know, hanging out uh, and chatting. And uh, this um, St. Louis, or O'Fallon, you know, 
slash St. Louis Same. was yeah. meant to be kind of a pit stop for you. Um, you were going to come by and hang out with your family. Then you were going to make your way out to California and start an animation career. But the world is weird right now. So you're um, stuck isn't the right word, but uh, temporarily paused um, in the Midwest to, before you complete your journey. But are there you know, other things you're working on? Are you keeping busy? Uh, yes. Um, and just like the film, we're making the best with what we have. Uh, but I think um, I'm just going to be working on myself right now uh, in terms of my career. Uh, with student films, since um, I spent a lot of time working on one project, I didn't get to really grow as an artist. Uh, I'd like to still be a student, even though I'm graduated. So I'll be trying to pick up commissions and working on other people's projects for once and try to improve myself that way so that when I do go start my um, animation career, I'm on a better foot. That's great. Well, yeah. this has been charming and fun to meet you and to talk to you. Um, there's some local connections mm -hmm. I'd like to be able to make um, for you with other filmmakers. Um, you know, I'm, uh, welcome to the, to the club and the scene of the showcase. Uh, we've been doing this for 20 years, as I said, and it's one of our favorite events uh, to do each year. It's very difficult because we know a lot of these people and when we have to say no, um, it can be awkward. But in this case, we said yes. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Have a great afternoon, Caleb. Thank you.